Turkish one up with air. Yeah, and it takes the name from the Um Because in Turkish, uh, we call it Sultan Ahmed. Sultan Ahmed, who built the mosque. That's why this area known as Sultan Ahmed area. And mostly in this area, we have more than 100 systems. And this is the biggest one. This one built by Emperor Justinian the first, who built the Hagia Sophia also. And it was built in the first half of the 6th century. We don't know the exact time. Uh, what is the system? Systems are water storage places, basically. Uh, in the year 330, Constantinople became the new capital of the Roman Empire. And they accepted this place as the center of the world. That's why city growth and population growth also. Unfortunately, they didn't have enough clean water system in the city. Uh, that's why Emperor Theodosius II found a new water system. They brought the water 50-60 kilometers out of the city from the forests with the aqueducts, like a pipe system, but on the ground. And they built so many systems like this. They put the water inside these systems. They switched the water inside the systems. So I can say that all the systems uh, were built water tanks, but in the wrong time. Uh, because in the middle of the 15th century, Ottoman Turks came to city. Mehmet II conquered Istanbul, and Istanbul became the capital of the Ottoman Empire. Ottomans are Muslims, that's why they didn't use these places. Because there is a tradition in the Muslim, if you put the water in a place, and if it stays a little bit longer, it's not clean, it's not good for health. According to the Muslim, only running water, flowing water can be clean, that's why they didn't prefer to use them. Because they still put water, but they use the water for gardening. In some of them they put weapons, some of them used as a prison. Ottomans found any water, but they still used our products to bring the water to the city. But they directly distributed the water from the fountains. That's why they built so many fountains. So if you see fountains while you are walking on the streets, you can easily understand that they are from the Ottoman time. They were built after 15th century. During the Republic era, government would be placed and converted them into a museum. But some of them discovered later. Uh, that's why right, they are under the hotel and this is the In some of them, they are making events like concerts, parties, and everything. But this one and the Sherefia sister, which is another sister around here, these are functioning as a museum right now. In the Roman times, some of the systems used by the important people and royal family. For example, this one used for the great palace of Constantinople. In the Roman time, there used to be a palace, the place of the Blue Mosque. And this one used for their palace. You know, all around the world, all the royal family's life is in danger. That's why they were putting fish inside the system. To understand is there any poison in the water. Because if there is a poison, the water will be toxic for the fishes. And the fish will have that they didn't use the water. They found the basic solution uh, like this, but it's safe like you can still see the water in the place. We don't know where it's coming from. It might be rainwater. Maybe it's coming from somewhere else. When it's too right, they pumping out the water from here with a pumping system. But in that time, the whole place was full of water. They kept flow of columns. These are nine meters from the ground. Uh, the capacity of this place, about 100,000 tons of water can be filled in place. But the water level was changing according to the seasons. That's why you can uh, still see the water level marks in the top. top, top there are 336 columns here, totally, and they're all coming from the other temples from all over the empire. They're all recycled columns. But there are two types of columns. First one is Doric style. If you see basic columns like this one, they are Doric style. But if you see some acanthus leaves, floral designs on the top of the column, they are Corinthian style columns. There are only two types. There are some other important things. First one is Medusa head. You are going to see it on the back corner. Snake hair Medusa under the column, upside down. Uh, there are too many myths about the Medusa head. Actually, there are two. One of them is upside down, the other one is on its side. Uh, but according to historians, they are here only for the, uh, like, they use them as a column base. Uh, 
about it dedim Kürüventli Mets. About it, about it. According to the Greek mythology, Medusa is one of the three gorgons. Gorgons are underground monsters. Medusa is one of the three sisters. She's only more to one also. If somebody look at her, she's gonna turn into people in class stone. This is the story. That's why they put it upside down to avoid proper game. Not the case. Because then you look at the place, it looks like palace, it's a reason. 